trust God. Two single syllable words that you have heard forever, but you will discover as time passes how difficult they are to obey. Trust God. Of course, I have no way of knowing what the future holds for you. You may lose your home and everything in a fire. You may lose your spouse to an early disease detected but not cured. You may lose your dreams, your hopes. You may lose a relationship that you have cultivated over the years. All losses are painful. We prayed just as hard for my father when his health went downhill as we did for my mother. We quoted the same scriptures. We asked God to restore his health, to let him live. But my father went to be with the Lord. It didn't happen the way I wanted. There will always be unanswered questions. Why didn't my loved one make it? Why am I not getting better? Why did this person leave? Some things are not going to make sense, but God wouldn't have allowed it if he wasn't going to bring good out of it. You may not see it at the time, but God knows what he's doing. He has your best interest at heart. It's not random. It's a part of his plan. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways, Acknowledge him and he will make your paths straight. All your heart, all your ways. Trust. Trust. But what about when things aren't going our way? Our prayers aren't being answered. The problem isn't turning around. We're not seeing favor. Too often we get discouraged. Think, God, why aren't you doing something? You can see I'm being mistreated. My health isn't good. I worked hard, but I didn't get the promotion. We think when it changes, we'll be happy. When I meet the right person, when my health improves, when we have this baby, then we'll have a good attitude. That's conditional trust. God, if you meet my demands, if you answer my prayers the way I want on my timetable, then I'll be my best. The problem with conditional trust is there will always be things we don't understand. Something that's not happening fast enough. It didn't work out the way we wanted. If I would have had conditional trust, I would have gotten upset, bitter God, why didn't you answer my prayers? The truth is, God did answer my prayer. It just wasn't the way I wanted. Are you mature enough to accept God's answers even though they're not what you were hoping for? God is a sovereign God. We're not going to understand everything that happens. Faith is trusting God when life doesn't make sense. God doesn't take us in a straight line. There'll be twists, turns, the disappointments, the loss, the bad breaks. They're all a part of his plan. But if you have conditional trust, you'll get discouraged and think, why is this happening? I'm going the wrong way, but God is still directing your steps. Trust him when you don't understand. Trust him even when it feels like you're going the wrong direction. Living worried, frustrated, disappointed, that takes our passion, it steals our joy, and it can keep us from seeing God's favor. And sometimes the closed doors, the disappointments, they are simply a test. God wants to see if we'll trust him when we don't understand it, when life doesn't make sense. We have to show him that we don't have to have the house to be happy. If we don't have the baby, we're not going to live bitter and sour. You're believing for your health to improve. But when you can say, if it doesn't get better, God, I'm still going to honor you. I'm still going to be my best. When God sees that you don't have to have it, many times like him, God will give you back what you were willing to give up. Are you living frustrated? because your prayers aren't being answered the way you want, your plans aren't working out, take the pressure off. 
God is in control. He knows what's best for you. You're not always going to understand it. If you did, it wouldn't take any faith. I'm asking you to trust him unconditionally. If you'll do this, I believe and declare God is going to work out his plan for your life. He's going to open the right doors, bring the right people, turn negative situations around, and take you to the fullness of your destiny. 